Hello everybody, this will be a tutorial on naked point of controls. Um, I like to trade them, especially with Confluence, using them as Confluence. They are very useful and they can be well-respected levels uh, for trading at times. If you guys learned something new from this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Plus, I'll leave a link in the Discord where I have all these templates kind of pre-made for you and you guys can go in ahead and import them. Um, Anyways, what a naked point of control really is, is when you have a fixed volume range profile and you just take a volume from say like the full day or a full week or a full month. Um, it will analyze the common fair value of where price was traded at. And what we are mostly focused on here is the point of control or where price was most commonly traded at during the whole range. So it's the most fair value of the price. And so this is an example of a point of control. And then there are times when the point of control can be left open and it will be an untapped level. And there are times when price will come up and kind of take the liquidity from that uh, price level or point of control and it will reject off of it or bounce off of it in trading so this can be very useful um to have on your chart and to add as an extra confluence for your chart as you can see right now price is kind of rejecting off of that previous point of control or whatever so um here i'll open up in exo charts and you can see a uh, easier way of finding these and so the template that i like to use is mpox i'll leave it in the discord again and so I'll just open it up. Right now we are on the daily time frame. I like to use the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame. And within this, again, it's a left open point of control. And so what's nice about exocharts is that it will highlight it for you. So each of these red lines that price hasn't uh, touched or left open yet are naked daily point of controls. And so you can see we have one right here at around 42,975 and one right here at around 42,075. I like to add these to my charts, um, just an extra confluence. What makes them more significant, specifically on the daily, the daily ones, is that whenever they have a volume traded of 3 billion or more for that day. So as you can see for each one of these, um, it will be the gold yellowish color that you are looking at. And for this day, 1.65 billion volume was traded totally on this point of control for that whole candle. Therefore, this naked daily point of control isn't as significant What's significant is, again, when it's 3 million or more volume traded for that day. So right here, we do have an example of a naked daily point of control. You can see this line as its candle had 3.3 .3 billion volume traded that day. So that can be something that will add as an extra layer of support or more significance. They, they get more well-respected when they have a lot of volume traded behind them because there is liquidity behind them. And another thing you guys can do too is within this, you guys can look for uh, naked weekly point of controls. This, you don't have to worry about volume because there's already a lot of volume traded in a weekly candle. Same as uh, monthlies. Monthlies are very well respected. I expect us to get a rejection off of this naked uh, monthly point of control at around 49,050. And again, another strong support below us at around 38,940. So it, it, it's up for you to decide, but you, you guys can, can just uh, import them into your trading view charts. Another way too for a more free method in case you don't have extra charts premium. Um, I believe the free version only shows you seven days of price action. So you might not get like all the levels for naked daily point of controls. Another thing you can do is go to the daily time frame and load up the chart and indicators and strategies. Search for volume profile session volume HD. The non HD version works too for 
free trading view, I think. And so you guys can turn that on, in which I will do. And here it will give you a point of controls for each candle. In this case, um, it will change accordingly for the time frame you're on, but you guys can use the daily time frame. And as you can see, you can just pinpoint out the naked daily point of controls if they are untapped. It's a little tedious to do, but um, it's just a free way of doing it. Same way you can do it on the weekly time frame and the monthly time frame. It'll map it out for you. So that's another way. And so that is another trading tool kit you can have in your tool belt. Uh, it's a pretty good levels to use. I Again, with using the daily and down, whenever you're using a naked point of control, make sure it has significant volume just so you can be sure it will have a well-respected level. Um, also, make sure that that volume is 3 billion or more when it's traded. You guys don't have to worry about upper time frames like the weekly and monthly when it comes to that case, but that should be pretty much it. I'll leave a link to ExoCharts in the description, and bye.